Throughout 21-year-old Isabel Brazur's lengthy skating career, she's always had a partner to share the triumphs and the hard work. I started skating in pairs when I was eight, and I think I, I always, I'm always used to have somebody beside me, and I know that if ever I fail, if ever I win, if ever you know something happens, I know there's going to be somebody else there so close to me that's going to understand and that's going to go through the same thing. In 1987, Lloyd Eisler, eight years older, joined forces with Isabel, his fourth senior level partner. Their success emanates from meshing contrasting styles. I'm very, very um, serious and, and strong on the exterior, but Isabel has made it a little bit softer and and taken my skating in a little bit different direction where the seriousness and, and the strength are still great attributes, but it's not the be-all, end-all that it, that it sort of used to be in the beginning. And so, again, we've sort of compromised and she's brought me closer to her and I've sort of brought her closer to being a little bit stronger person. The first year I was scared a little bit. I wasn't talking a lot. Well, first of all, I was not speaking English at all at that time. And uh, so I was always listening to him and not saying anything, you know. So now I got older and I got to know him and now I can answer to him. <laughs> While Isabel now feels comfortable standing up to Lloyd, he's caused more than a few waves over the years with his controversial approach, not only to skating, but to life in general. I do little things like getting tattoos and earrings to sort of keep me sane. That way I can sort of look at myself and say, I'm proud that I've done what I wanted to do that I am who I am, I've broken a lot of rules, caused a lot of problems, got into a lot of trouble, but kept going because I wanted to achieve what I wanted to achieve okay, and yeah, have worked out all the problems push, push and hard. thus as I push get hard. older I look back and I, I learned lessons from all those times I got into trouble. And relax. Uh, the pair have combined to finish second at the last two world championships, narrowly missing gold in Munich. But off the ice, Isabel seeks her own space for relaxation. I love spending time by myself, or I love, like, in the weekend, going to see my parents. It's nice because nobody's talking to me about skating, which is really nice because I have so much skating during the week that I need, you know, some time away and some time off. So I just spend time by myself and just relax most of the time. They work with a trio of coaches, including choreographer Ushi Kessler, some of Eisler's off-ice pursuits have raised questions, but not in his mind. I don't really feel like I'm jeopardizing my career. If anything, I'm helping it out because there are avenues for me to release tension or to get away from skating if it's been a bad day, forget about it so I can come in the next day, be fresh, and be willing to work and not be worried what happened yesterday or the day before. One week he broke his rib and we had a show the next day. And I mean, the guy was almost crying on the ice, but it doesn't matter, he did it. So I know I can believe, you know, in him about injuries, and I know he's going to keep going no matter what. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler have the skill and the strength in their program to reach for gold in Albertville. Have a lot of time to talk with them. First of all, an interview Ron McLean did following the competition with Artur Dmitriev. He and his partner Mishka Tunic winning gold in the pair. The gold medal of Artur Dmitriev. Congratulations. Uh, is that the best you've ever performed? Uh, yes. I am not skate today. Today I skate myself and I am very happy because uh, I skate for people today. And um, I am very sad because Canadians skate not uh, skate well today because sport is sport, life is life. But I, I will, I will um, in future, they skate better because is is good skaters live at 10 to 4 in the morning isabel brasseur lloyd eisler your reaction to dimitriev's uh, comments i think it's uh, very nice to know that our competitors think highly of of us we think very highly of them um, it's good that uh, the competition is so uh, advanced that on any given night anyone can win um, tonight our tour and natalia beat us but uh, in four or five weeks the tables may be turned all right, it is 10 to 4 in the morning. We really appreciate you coming in. I have this for you, Isabel. It's from the 
Grade two class, St. Andrews Elementary School, St. John's, Newfoundland. Ms. Ellsworth is the teacher. Dear Canadian figure skater, we want to wish you good luck when you compete in the Winter Olympics. Our school's been studying the Olympics. Our class adopted figure skating for our sport. We go skating every Friday from St. Andrews Elementary in Newfoundland. This is for you. Thank you. Tell me about the pressure. I know Canadians tonight want to know what is it like to stand out there in front of 9,000 people. I, I know you tried to put it out of your mind, but were you able to put the fall out of your mind? I was able to put the fallout out of my mind. What I was not able to put, I think, is the fact that it's Olympics. I mean, as long as you want to forget about it and you just want to say, well, it's like another world championship, as much as the public makes, makes it so big and every time you walk in the street, somebody always reminds you, hey, you're going to Olympics, hey, you're going to Olympics. So it's really hard to forget about that, and I think that's maybe why we got nervous a little bit. You said in the profile a short time ago, we're a team through good and bad. I mean, this guy plays hockey and bangs himself up. Uh, you've had to endure some tough times with him. Tell me about the chemistry of uh, first Isabel, then Lloyd. I mean, it, it had to be hard talking to each other following that? Um, it is hard, but um, like I said earlier in the profile, I mean, we're there together. We're there to win together and we're there to lose together. We're there to pass through the bad time or the good time together. And tonight, it's Weird to say it's a bad time and a good time at the same time. It's a bad time of what we did on the ice because we can do much better. And it's a good time that we still have a medal and not a lot of people mm. is able to say that they're bringing a bronze medal from Olympics at home. So we're going to try to try to take the best side, which is probably the bronze medal, and just live with it. Well, you certainly did not lose. I mean, again, you won a medal, you know. Only three couples win the medals. Lloyd, how do you deal with that when, when there's a problem uh, with the other one? Well, I mean, there's two of us here, and we both can make mistakes. I guess if you take last year's World Championships in Munich, Isabel was flawless, and it was me that made the mistake um, that could have possibly cost us a gold medal. Um, we don't know that for sure because I didn't do my jump that I was supposed to do. Um, this year, Isabel had a few problems. Um, so, you know, every time, not, you know, we like to skate perfect, you like to skate clean, both of you, but because there's two people, um, you can't always guarantee that. And I think what you have to do is you have to stand behind the other person when they make a mistake. Because you got there together, um, you're not a single skater, so you're not standing up there collecting your medal on your own. We got here as a team, we're going to win as a team, we're going to lose as a team. And the biggest thing about us is that we've learned to stand behind each other from 89 when Isabel had a disastrous year. And to us it was a disastrous year, not just Isabel. And last year I had a, a mistake and then this year maybe Isabel had a few problems dealing with pressure. I know um, I'm a lot better at dealing with pressure than Isabel. I know all day I was... Uh, scared with you know just incredible that uh, you know it was running down my leg all day i just thought how am i going to deal with this but i just went into myself and said i know i'll be able to deal with it but some people deal with pressure better and i think the pressure got a little bit to isabel because of of our short program fall and we just didn't didn't really recover from that what do you say to each other on the ice not just uh, here but is there anything do you have a look or a word as you go out? Uh, when we go out, we just wink at each other and just say, have fun out there and just have fun. And that's all we say. And through the program, if somebody is having a hard time, the other one try to encourage the other one. Or we just talk a little bit, you know, trying to say good words. It's not often that athletes have a chance to be in Winter Olympics two and two years. Lilyhammer's only two years away. Are you going to stay together for Lilyhammer? Well, we haven't ruled out the possibility. I think that uh, all athletes like to go out on a good note. Uh, in Calgary, uh, we were ninth. We were just together a short time. Uh, Alberville, we're third. Uh, Lily Hammer's only two years away. Uh, we're young enough. We feel that we're good enough. You could possibly see us in 94 in Lily Hammer. You're going to be in Lily Hammer, aren't you? If my partner's not there, I'm not going to be there. And if our coach's not there, we're not going to be there. <laughs> right. Listen, we got about one minute to go. Your mom and dad were here. Big Lloyd and Beverholm in Seaforth, Ontario. Uh, you, you had a great comment earlier. You're going to do what at the World Championships? In three weeks, we're going to kick some serious butt. And I, and I think that knowing your father, that's what he would say. Anything you want to say to your uh, parents? I'd just today? like to say hello to my parents, and I love you both. All right, thank you very much. The first Canadian pairs to win a medal in figure skating since Wagner and Paul in 1960. Congratulations. I know uh, you're still thank a little you. down, but listen, you have a medal. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very thank much. You very I appreciate much. your support. Isabel Bersour and Lloyd Eisler with us tonight. Just a reminder, tomorrow morning we're on the air with Olympic...